So recently I've been growing out my beard and what I've noticed is that as my hair starts to grow, I start to feel fat. And the reason is, is because if you have too much hair on your face, it'll start to hide definition, whereas the perfect amount of hair will enhance it. And that was proven to me, especially after I got this message right here on Instagram. So in this video, I wanna show you my new stubble beard routine. And this routine is for people who don't wanna just rock the normal all around stubble. I've shoved that routine over a year ago. This one is a fresh new one. So stay tuned, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right guys, two things you're gonna need. Number one is your beard groomer. And then number two is the beard trimmer. This is so that we can get underneath our neck area. I use the Philips Norco one blade and this is a, a, a Panasonic beard groomer. So I'll leave a link down below of all the stuff that I use. But specifically, you wanna use one that has a dial that you can have different millimeter settings. All right, let's get into the trimming. So step number one, we're gonna do the jaw area at four millimeters in length. I've noticed for me personally, this is to enhance my jawline the most, but at the same time, it doesn't grow back so fast where I have to keep doing it over and over again every two to three days. So four millimeters in our settings. Let's go ahead and do this first. And guys, I'm only doing the jaw area. So right here, and I'm stopping right at the goatee area. So only the jaw area, because we're gonna do different lengths for different parts of our face. Make sure to get underneath the jawline too, and around your jaw bone. As I'm doing this, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about why I didn't keep the goatee, right? Because as I'm trimming this, it's starting to look, I, I kind of see the line of the goatee because that hair is darker. But the reason why I didn't keep the goatee like I did a few, or a month ago actually, is because the maintenance for the goatee is super high, first of all. You literally have to trim it and shave it like every day or two. And then alongside with that, I was starting to get razor bumps because the maintenance was so high. So that's how I've actually figured out this style that I'm showing you right now. It, it basically came from me rocking my goatee look, but we're just keeping more hair on the sides. So you're implementing kind of like a stubble and a goatee at the same time. All right, so we did our jaw area. We can clean it up as time goes on too. But basically what we did was come from here over and here over on this side, so it's already a lot shorter. Now we're gonna do our mustache area, and the length I'm gonna do for the mustache is gonna be a six millimeter. I want it to be a little bit darker versus the jaw area, so we're just gonna keep it at six and only trim the mustache area. Gotcha, and then also in between sessions, make sure to brush back down your hair with a soft brush so that you can kind of see what's going on with the look. So we're already making progress. I feel like my face is starting to look, already look more defined because my jawline is starting to finally come through a little bit more because when you have your hair a bit longer, like you have those flyaways and it doesn't sit tight close to the face. And that's exactly what you want. The reason why I'm doing different lengths for different parts of my face, because we're, we're getting to the chin area next, is because personally for my face type, this is what works best for me, right? I wanna enhance my jawline, I wanna keep my mustache a bit thicker, and then I wanna keep my chin longer, and I want that in a bit, in a bit of a style. If you don't wanna do all this, you can just simply do the all around stubble with a five millimeter and just go all around. But like I said, this works best for my face shape. You might have to try out different lengths in different ways for your face shape. So for example, instead of four millimeter on the side, you do two, two millimeter, or you do six millimeter or eight millimeter. Point is, you're gonna have to test out the millimeters, but you can use this tutorial as like a blueprint for what you wanna do. But next, let's get into the chin area. So actually for the chin, I've been growing out my chin hair because I want it to project a little bit more from a profile view. So I'm not gonna touch the chin area. However, in this area right here, I'm gonna do an eight millimeter. So, so far we got four, six, and eight. I'm going up by two millimeters on each part of my face. I really don't have a lot to trim because it's such a small area. 
Damn, so let's go ahead and brush it back down. All right, here's the next thing we're gonna do. We're actually gonna do a disconnected look, meaning we're gonna disconnect the mustache and the chin hair area between it with the lower stubble than what we trimmed over here. So we're gonna disconnect it now with the two millimeters. So everything's based in twos, basically. Change my trimmer to two millimeter. And I'm gonna create a small disconnect between my mustache and my chin right here. And this just gives sort of a, a different look to it. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I kind of just like the way it looks. I'm gonna do it very small, by the way. So I'm not sure if you guys can even see that, but there's a small, slight faded disconnect between my mustache and right here. It is barely noticeable, but if I don't wanna bald it though, I like to keep it like this. So let me go over it one more time. All right, we have a six millimeter and a two millimeter. However, since the difference in millimeters are so high, that there kind of creates a block right here on the mustache and at the bottom. So I'm gonna blend those in right here with the five millimeter, the mustache. Then I'm gonna blend the lower part in a little bit more with the six millimeter just at the top. Once again, this is optional. I just do this stuff so that the blend and it fades nicely between all the millimeters. So I'm gonna blend it with a five. Then with a six at the bottom right here. That looks nice. All right, I'm gonna brush it down and then I'm gonna go over everything just one more time, do another pass just to make sure I got all the hairs I need to get off, all the way off. So basically starting from the beginning, four millimeter. All right, so now we're done with the cut. Now we just gotta line up and trim. So we're gonna trim underneath the neck area with the one blade. You wanna make sure that you stop at the top of your Adam's apple. Do not bring the beard line all the way up high. Last thing I do is take an eyebrow razor and I'm gonna use this as the lineup just at the top in the mustache area. All right, we're almost done. Now all I have to do is the enhancements with the beard dye and then I'm gonna take a shower. Stay tuned for the final product. guys this is the complete look as you can tell i've enhanced my jawline by keeping it low but also assinuating other features on my face like my chin and having a little bit of style with the faded disconnected mustache i really really like this style and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna keep doing it long term and the maintenance is also very easy i can trim this probably twice a week and i can do it also really really fast when i'm not doing the tutorial I can literally do this within like 10 minutes. So if you're gonna try this out, let me know down below. Also, don't forget to check out all the links where I actually provide the resources and the links where I've got all the tools to enhance my beard if you wanna use them too. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.